All right, today is starting off super rough and I thought, how about I show you how to get through a hard day? And how about I show you that when it's not going great? So easy to say that when things are good, but when you wake up and you're like, I have no energy and everything feels, and the kids are just, so how do we overcome a day like that? I'm just gonna walk through it today with you and pray that maybe if you're having that kind of day like I am, it'll kickstart a better day for you. Okay, so usually I have really low energy because I haven't like been nourishing myself, taking my vitamins, um, drinking enough water because I'm still breastfeeding a baby. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this water bottle. I put three rubber bands at the top because this is how much I should be drinking three of these if I'm breastfeeding a baby. And y'all, sometimes I only get through one because I drink so much coffee. So I'm going to do that as the first step to making this day a little bit better. Getting some water. So I'm still struggling from postnatal depletion from being pregnant and breastfeeding. So supplements are helping me to replenish my micronutrient stores while food help to maintain that store. So working on my replenishment with these supplements. Okay, so I got some water, got some supplements. I got my big kids and I'm like, okay, 30 minutes guys, y'all go play together downstairs. We'll see if there is no fighting. Lay the baby down and I am going to um, bust a move to do a couple of things that are really restorative for me and help me set myself up for the day because I just feel like I can't pour from an empty cup. And so um, these are the things I try to do every morning, but it's 11 o'clock and I have not done them. Um, so I need to jump on it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So one of the first things I like to do is just clean my room. It usually doesn't take me about five to 10 minutes. I also like to do this before I go to bed. It's just really soothing to have a cleaner space to think. And so just doing the little things like wiping stuff down really helps. Then I like to just open up my Bible. Kids might be running around and things like that, but just soaking in the word for five to 10 minutes and just working my way through a chapter of the Bible. Then I like to get out my journal, write the highlight, what stood out to me. Um, I have a video where I talk about the method I use for journaling. I don't use it all the time, but it is helpful. It's called the here method. I'll leave a link right here for that. But just journaling out some thoughts that um, keep coming into my mind. I'm really in the practice right now of writing down anything that feels like it's weighing me down, any thought that feels like it's a lie, and then trying to actively replace that with God's truth. And that is doing a lot to help me renew my mind. Um, I like to sit and try to pray through scripture. I'm actively trying to pray through um, something called my Frank list, which is my friends, my relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, coworkers. I don't have any coworkers except for little kids and kids is also there um, that are far from Christ, but close to me. And so praying for those people as often as I can so that's one thing I like to try to do during my journal and prayer time is just make a spiritual discipline of praying for those people. And then I like to sit down and kind of think through the things I'm thankful for, the things I need to get done that week, the things I'm working on. And right now I'm really trying to work on consistency and specifically consistency with what time I wake up. I'm not really killing it on that front, but that is my current goal, is to wake up at the same time every day. I had no idea how hard this week would get. It got really hard even after this day. Um, my kids got even sicker throughout the week, and so this day was so pivotal for carrying me through even harder days to come. Okay, so just read my Bible a little bit, just journaled a little bit, finished this whole thing so I can go refill that. But um, I'm just working my way through James right now. My husband's reading James, but we don't read it together. We just try to stay in the same book for the whole month. 
Um, and then our church is going through James too, so that's really nice. Um, so just read this morning, you can come in here about how God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble and just trying to exercise that. Um, the baby is starting to wake up, but I'm going to read a couple of minutes of this book right here. Live No Lies by John Mark Comer. So good. So, so good. He talks about how it's not so much the lies that we believe, but the lies that we live. And I'm like, oh, it's so good. So a couple of minutes of this. Just going to keep trying to fill my cup a little bit so I can pour into these kiddos today. One of the quotes I just love in this book is, spiritual formation isn't just a follower of Jesus thing, it's a human thing. We are all being formed every minute of every day. We are all becoming someone, intentional or unintentional, conscious or subconscious, deliberate or haphazard. We're all in the process of becoming a person. The question isn't, are you becoming somebody, but who are you becoming? a little bit feel better wasn't a like a real massive workout but it was something I moved I feel better so now I am going to fill up my water again and I'm gonna put on some clothes and I'll be close to just getting ready for the day just feeling a lot better Okay, so the baby is in like a little pack and play, a little yard play in the living room. She's not loving it, but it's play a long time for her. And um, it's gonna let me get some makeup on, got some clothes on, and trying to keep the kids from absolutely losing it. So moving fast. Die. Oh, darling, what you think? Cause you're not good at hiding that smile on your mouth. Even though you're far away, you're still my closest friend. And I Okay, so I got myself situated a little bit. I've got the baby <laughs> eating a little bit over here. And I've got the big boys. Um, it's like deceptively cold outside. So I've got these like little coveralls I can put on them and just send them outside to play some basketball. So I'm going to best a move while the baby is strapped in and the boys are playing some basketball. And I'm going to put away some dry dishes and do a little bit of extra dishes. And then I am going to go ahead and start early on dinner to make the rest of my day a little bit easier and more doable. One thing that helped me motivate the boys to play alone so well, um, I guess bribery, was I just sat down with them and I'm like, okay, guys, we have not gotten off. We have not gotten the day off on the right foot. Like, how can we recover this day? What's something you would really love to do today? And my oldest said he would really love to have a basketball game with me. Um, so I said, sure. I said, okay. And then I asked my 
my five-year-old, what would you really love? And he said, I'd really love a sweet ticket, <laughs> like a sweet treat. And we had a friend, we were sick this week, bring us like a little sweet um, that he wanted to enjoy. It was like a little leftover Valentine's treat. And I said, okay, so here's the deal. Mommy's gotta get herself together and then we gotta do homeschool. <laughs> Sunny is saying more. You want some more? Um, and then I will make good on those things. So, um, you know, just give them something, like a picture of something to look forward to as well. Because I think it's hard when they're like, well, I want, you know, this has been a tough day. How are we, like, what do I have to look forward to? I feel like we all need something to look forward to. So that's what we're going to do. So I got to make good on those promises. And my three-year-old said she wanted a piece of bubble gum. So I think we can make that happen. So just almost done with some of these dishes. And already feeling just so much better. Just feels good to just have on real clothes and move my body a little bit, get in the word. Just really basic things. And I didn't do all those things more than like, I love to do them all for about 10 minutes at least. But you know, this morning it was maybe more like five minutes to seven minutes for each one. Okay, we're crying now. So, um. We should show them how sweet you are. Say more, okay, okay, got you. Okay, so got some dishes done, made myself a cup of coffee. Um, that was my motivation. That was my motivation for just pushing through is I wanted some more coffee, but I was like, if I get coffee, I'm gonna sit down and I'm not gonna do anything. So got some coffee, fed him a little bit of lunch, and now I'm going to do like 10 minutes of folding and I'm gonna go switch some laundry over because I feel like doing about 10 minutes of dishes, 10 minutes of laundry, just really makes it all seem way more doable instead of being like, oh my gosh, I'm drowning in both. So, gonna get these folded and put away. Darling, oh darling, what you So this day has gotten significantly better. It's not perfect, but much better than I was doing before. Gracious, I just feel like a little bit more in control of the day. So now it's 12.30 and this is not normal, but I'm gonna start homeschool now, which isn't ideal, but really homeschool with, I have a seven, five, three and one year old. It only really takes me like two or three hours. So um, we're gonna keep it light today got some moderately sick kids and so i'm gonna give myself some grace it was a hard day and we're gonna get started but it's a lot better than me getting started wearing my husband's pants and feeling like crap so i hope if you're having a tough day that it gets better um i hope you'll remember that all these days aren't always like this that kind of like that annie song the sun does come out tomorrow when i'm in a pit um a really bad pit it's really hard for me it's really hard for me to reach out for help, but it's just good to text one friend and just be like, I'm struggling. So I hope you'll do that. Just bring it out into the light. Have somebody praying for you. Um, I know it's not easy. These days at home are hard sometimes as a mama, but I know they're worth it. And so um, I think if you could just even have a little bit of fun with your kid, that makes a difference too. Like I've got to make good on my promise to do the basketball game. So um, I know that's gonna be a little bit of fun that I'm looking forward to. So thanks for being here. And I hope that um, you'll stick around and hit subscribe and that this channel will be a blessing to you.